Welcome to the story of... We're breaking down when Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin first met to the moment they walked down the aisle. Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin first met in October of 2009 when Haley's dad, Steve, introduced them backstage at the Today Show. There is a very awkward video of it. Hey, so my name's Steve And the third song, you doing, bro? Hey, Jake, it's my daughter, Haley. The third song is... Yeah. Haley was only 13, Justin was 15. She was just meeting her, her pop star dream, her boyfriend. This is amazing. Yeah. Imagine having the video of when you first met your now husband. In 2011, Justin and Haley met again when Haley said Steve brought Haley to the Never Say Never premiere in Times Square. So they took some photos on the red carpet. Meanwhile, Justin and Selena were making their debut as a couple. So while Justin and Selena were making waves, their couple debut, the whole world was freaking out. Even Haley was freaking out because in September, she tweeted, I don't care what anyone says, but Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez together is the definition of a teenage dream. Hashtag word. Listen, everyone agreed with Haley at the time. It yeah. was the definition of a teenage dream. She didn't know that she was going to end up meeting him and being in love with him. How was she supposed to no, know that? No, this is also just where having old tweets, and you can laugh at them, but there's also moments when you go back and you're like, oh, delete, Ooh, delete, 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 delete. Right. Justin and Selena dated until 2014, but Justin started to hang out with the Jenners, and in August, Kylie posted a photo with Kendall, Gigi, and Haley, which caused Selena to unfollow the Jenners, and the picture was deleted. In November of that year, Selena and Justin officially split, and that's when Justin, Haley, Kendall, they all started hanging out more, especially at the Hillsong Church, where they were all the time. So we started seeing more and more pictures of Haley and Justin hanging out, but Haley denied dating rumors to E, and she said, I've known him since I was so young, since I was like 13, and we've just been good friends over the years, and we have just stayed close, and there's nothing more to it than that. <laughs> then a week later, Bieber posted a selfie with Haley in the back of their car. He said, people are crazy, I'm super single, clarifying again that Haley was just a really good friend. Then on December 27th, Haley tweeted, Glad I got such a good night of sleep last night at my own home alone. Quit it with the stories. They were spotted going back to Bieber's place on the night of December 26th and at a breakfast on the 27th. We've seen these photos. It's clear, you know, anytime you see somebody at night and then in the morning, one plus one equals two, you just put it together, something was going on. Listen, they were probably having a sleepover and we don't blame them for that. To start off 2015, Justin posted a video wishing everybody a happy new year. Haley made an appearance, but she denied it to E again. He's just going through a time in his life where he's transitioning in a really positive way and he needs good people around him. And I'm trying to be a good friend and be there for him and support him. So once again, Haley is denying, denying, denying that they are anything but friends. They continue to be spotted together on January 23rd. Kendall Instagram, a group photo where they are cheek to cheek I mean, at a Clippers game. This is like, it was this close. You, you know, so close. You know, it's, it's cheek to cheek contact. You know, it, you gotta be real close when you, you start touching close. cheeks. In July, they got matching tattoos in honor of the daughter of members of their church, the letter G for Georgia. Justin got it on his forearm and Haley got it behind her ear. Everybody freaked out because Selena also has a G behind her ear. They thought maybe there was some connection there. Selena also goes to the church, but she has a half sister named Gracie. That's probably, Makes that's more probably sense. the reason. Then on November 23rd, 2015, Justin and Selena were spotted together in LA. Justin sang my girl to her in a restaurant video, and he had told this Ellen video. that sorry, what do you mean, and mark my words from purpose, we're all about Selena. I guess you say what you This video of Justin singing My Girl sent everybody into hysterics. They couldn't believe it. All of a sudden, Justin and Selena are back and he's singing My Girl. In December, Haley posted pictures in Justin's sweatpants and in now deleted comments, according to Hollywood Life, he wrote, give me back my sweatpants, dick. And she said, no, sorry, they look better on me. 
Then on December 29th, Justin and Haley took a trip to Anguilla with his family. He put out videos of them on Instagram where he gives her a wet willy and a bunch of photos from this trip. And they rang in the new year together. Yeah, it was with his whole family, like you said. We saw so much content from this trip, I remember, and it, we were so confused. We had just seen Justin and Selena. Now Haley's on a whole family vacation. I guess it didn't work out with Selena because he decided I'm gonna take Haley not Selena. Right. Who gets, how do you figure out who gets that invite? And like we all suspected, because they were together all the time, 2016 came around and Justin posted a photo of them making out on Instagram and everybody lost it. Then in February, right after these pictures were posted, everyone assumed that they must be dating, but they both said they are not exclusive. We are not an exclusive couple. Um, he's about to go on tour. Relationships at this age are already complicated, but I don't like to really talk about it because it's between me and him, so. He told GQ that she is someone he really loves, but he's too busy for a relationship. I already have a lot that I have to commit to, a lot of responsibilities. I don't want to feel like the girl I love is an added responsibility. He also said, what if Haley ends up being the girl I'm going to marry, right? If I rush into anything, if I damage her, then it's always going to be damaged. This is an unbelievable quote. Unbelievable! I mean, they should have this quote framed in their house. Like, he knew, he knew it he was, was going to marry her. A weird moment, you know, they got so much crap. Everybody thought they were moving so fast, but were they? I mean, he was making these comments in 20 2016 about marrying her. But in August 2016, things took a turn. Justin was photographed with Sophia Richie. It seemed like they were dating. Everybody was unfollowing each other. Justin unfollowed Haley and vice versa. And then we entered what we could just call a dark time for Haley and Justin. Right, they had no contact. They did not hang out in social settings. It seemed like they were never gonna be friends ever again. So during this time, Selena Gomez was dating The weekend, but once that ended, Justin and Selena ended up together again. In February of 2018, she went to Justin's dad's wedding. They were going to hockey games together. Selena is apparently, allegedly, feuding with her mom over her dating Justin again. It was a full-blown Justin and Selena nightmare until eventually they broke up again. Now during this time, while Selena and Justin were together, Haley was seen with Shawn Mendes multiple times in Toronto, hugging, are yep. they together, are they not together, what's going on? We find out at the Met Gala when they make their debut on the red carpet. It was insanity. Haley and Shawn, they walked the Met Gala carpet together. Everybody freaked out. This is as official as it gets, and yet somehow they were still kind of denying that they were together. It was, it was a weird time. And it doesn't seem like it lasted long because Haley was right back to Justin soon after the Met Gala. So it was the end of May when things got interesting again because Haley told the Times UK that she and Justin were friends again. She was single, but this was a step in the right direction. They had not been talking at all. So for her to even say they were friends, something was going on. We knew something was going on because on June 11th, Haley and Justin were spotted getting close at a church conference in Miami. They were apparently inseparable. And then soon after that, there was a video of them at Live Nightclub in Miami. I started freaking out when I saw them together in Miami. I thought that my dreams were coming true. I've been rooting for Justin and Haley this whole time. I was so excited. I didn't want to get too excited though because I just was like, maybe they are just friends but it seemed a little too close. We were in two very different positions. You love Haley Baldwin. I love Justin and Selena. So I think we just, it's crazy. We were in different headspaces. I was like, what is going on? Why are Justin and Selena breaking up again? I was rooting for it. Yeah, it's just, it was such a crazy time. And you thought, oh, maybe they could end up being friends again. Who knows? I did not think Justin and Selena, that that was gonna be the end of Justin and Selena. And Boy, was I wrong because things took off pretty fast. In June 2018, Justin and Haley are making out all over Brooklyn. I mean, these two, you couldn't go a day without seeing a picture of them showing off their love, their PDA in New York throughout the whole month. They were traveling together, they're in hot tubs together. Haley deleted all of her Shawn Mendes content from her Instagram. It seems like they're 100% dating Justin and Haley. Gotta make sure we get the names right. It's Justin Haley dating now. Then the biggest shock of all comes oh when God. TMZ reports 
Justin Bieber proposed to Haley Baldwin in the Bahamas. They're engaged. I who we we freaked out because this was it, it, it's been a month right we see them making out we're like oh they're they're happy they're in love they're young kids bam they are full blown engaged, engaged. they're in love engaged. they're gonna get married Haley also tweeted about it and then they headed back to New York City to celebrate their engagement all we wanted to see was photos of her engagement mm -hmm. ring and we and got them when we got them Justin Bieber. He did a good job. I mean, this ring is stunning, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it looked like her hand could just fall to the floor. They looked so in love. From July to August, things were hot and steamy for Justin and Haley. There was photos of them everywhere. The one everybody freaked out about was them kissing in a hot tub. Then on August 8th, they were both seen crying in pictures in New York City, which seemed to be a weird trend that followed after yeah. this because there was multiple pictures of them crying on many different instances. Yeah, and you knew the media was going to run away with that, right? You're seeing, they're, they're supposed to be engaged and in love and there are so many emotions, the tears, so the rumor mill was flying. Like, were they already going to break up? Then an even bigger shock than the engagement comes on September 13th when TMZ reports they went to the New York City's Marriage Bureau to get a marriage license. Witnesses said he cried inside and said, I can't wait to marry you, baby. And then people then said they went ahead and just did it without listening to anyone. This was insane. We had no idea what was going on. We see the pictures of them outside of the courthouse. They, they say they got the license. We were thinking, Maybe they just yeah. got the license, they'll right. get married, you know, you, you gotta have the marriage license at your actual wedding. But turns out, they just straight they up did it. Got married. They just straight up did it, even though Haley was denying the marriage. She was tweeting they didn't actually get married, which uh, really just, it was a lot. It just confused all of us. It was slightly unnecessary. So as we're all speculating if they're a married couple or not, these two just go off to Europe. They're in London. He's singing outside of Buckingham Palace to her. Thank you so much. Thank you. My favorite. That girl right there is the love of my life right there. <laughs> is she your wife yet? Yeah? Hello, baby. Meanwhile, her uncle Alec does say that they did in fact get married. How wild does a Baldwin wedding get? I feel like anytime well, they went off and got married. I know, but and I don't know what the deal is because I mean, I we text Haley every now and then. We met him one time, but as I said, you know, when you get married, you know, I, I mean, I think it works best if you could really be together. Then on November 16th, Haley Baldwin changed her social media to Haley Bieber, officially yeah. confirming she took the last name. She's officially a Bieber. That was all the confirmation we needed. We started getting little hints. He was calling her his wife on Thanksgiving. He said first Thanksgiving as a married man, but it wasn't until later that year that it was obvious that they were married and Haley changing her name showed that. In February of 2019, Haley does a Vogue 73 questions where she clarified about that engagement, saying that they were alone in a house when Justin proposed, that Justin did ask for her dad's permission, and she hinted that her wedding dress would be an off-white color. Can you give me any hints about that dress you're gonna wear? I can't say much, but I can say it's kind of like an off-white color, which was Probably a hint we should have all picked up on. They also had a full Vogue spread where they talked about waiting until marriage to have sex that they had reconciled through the church. Haley had said by the end of the conference in Miami, Justin said to her, We're not gonna be friends. Justin Bieber pulled the classic Margot Robbie from Wolf of Wall Street, just looked her straight in the eye, said, We're not gonna be friends. It's a power move by Justin because it's clear he knew he liked her. In August, it was confirmed that they would finally be having their wedding ceremony in South Carolina on September 30th. We got tons of photos from Haley's bachelorette and her rehearsal dinner. They looked so 
beautiful, stunning. The pictures were amazing. Then on September 30th, 2019, we finally get what we've been waiting wedding for. Bells. Their beautiful wedding reception in South Carolina. Haley wore an off-white dress designed by Virgil, of course. The veil set till death do us part. She also wore a different dress for the reception. It was a little different from the first one. They had Tiffany wedding rings and they had beautiful wedding portraits, which included a lot of celebrity guests. This was the wedding to be at. I, it looked like so much fun. Honestly, just for that photo booth alone, it was one of the best photo booths I've ever seen. Right, I would want to be there, of course, to see Justin and Haley celebrate course, their love between God and marriage, but those photo booth that pictures, photo quality, those portraits, <laughs> Unbelievable. you're gonna have that for the rest of your life. Justin sang one less lonely girl to Haley on stage at the reception. I would have just burst into flames. I, I don't know what would have happened. I could cry right now thinking about this. This is such a special moment. I'm sure Haley has been waiting her whole life to be the one less lonely girl. Yep. I'm sure she was like us wanting to get up on stage. She doesn't have uh. to get up on stage anywhere. The wedding is her stage. Her husband is Justin Bieber and they're officially married. It's making me think of every Justin Bieber concert that I went to where I wanted to be the one less lonely girl and when I wasn't it kind of ruined the night every time. Well, Haley's the last one less lonely girl. And that's the story of Justin and Haley Bieber.